Oh my God, am I really doing this? vlogmas vlogmas day one bookmas day one what we doing where we at what's going on oh my goodness okay so it's friday december 1st i wasn't even gonna do this you can thank Dee, Dee over at brown girl reading for uh hyping me up enough to attempt to do vlogmas for the first time in like years i can't even remember the last time i did it but i'm leaving work right now we are gonna run to michael's even though we shouldn't be we're gonna do it. Um, there's some yarn that I wanna see if they have and I have a little coupon. So we're gonna see what little yarny trouble we can uh, get into. I got so played right now. Sun flare. Beautiful. Um, I got so played. I had like a five bucks off uh, coupon reward. And I was going to do that. Because I knew like yarns on sale this time of year or whatever, right? So I see some stuff that I like. I just want to make something quick. Because I'm working on stuff that's taking a long time. And I need something to like, to keep my, um, my mojo going. And so I wanted, I got something like bulky yarn. You guys saw it, like super cute, like dark colors, not all pink and unicorn and, you know, like stuff that's like my vibe or whatever. And it was on sale, as you guys saw. Super stoked why I get to self checkout to use my little rewards, not working, invalid, blah, blah, blah. And why is it expired? So pissed. I knew I was about to pay like three bucks for like three balls of yarn, but whatever. It is what it is. So about to hit the freeway and head home. I will check in with you guys later. Home feeling super haggard and tired. Got a bit of an upset tummy. Um, ignore the washing machine in the background doing laundry. Uh, Got some clothes to fold. I need to dump a lot of footage into iMovie and try to start like editing so I can put up a video tomorrow. <laughs> It's not even 6 30. <laughs> it is 6 23 and I feel like it's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm so beat. I can hear my voice. Sorry guys. Oh my gosh. Did you see the where is it? 
Sparkle, sparkle, twinkle, twinkle. Just been uh, editing, so I'm up until this point. Well, right before this point of uh, the vlog. I was gonna share like a couple of books that I wanna read. I also wanna share what I read last month, but I don't know if this is getting kind of long and boring because not much is going on with my life. I don't know what that is on the television. So funny, it's Oregon playing Washington, which is crazy because these are the schools that Bub's dad and Bub went to. <laughs> so hilarious. But um, yeah, so I can't root for one without rooting for the other. So I won't root for any. Um, oh my God, you guys. So in editing, like the footage, can we please talk about Michael's and their lacking ass decor like is it me i know it's like super late in the game that people like were shopping in july august september but i know like october you were running the risk of everything being gone but not even the fact that there wasn't a lot of stock on the shelves just what there was just i don't know maybe it's just me just and i can appreciate like all styles of decor despite like what i like and just nothing really caught my eye except the friggin' mushroom and I'm so pissed at myself that I didn't get it because I'll probably never find it again and I'm gonna be dreaming and crying inside about that mushroom mushroomy just got really sad you guys <sighs> it's a sad time of year anyways but um Uh, for those of you that follow me on IG, you probably know that Zay passed away in July. And it was horrible, traumatic, like I haven't really talked about it because I can't really talk about it yet. It's just really sad because like Halloween and Christmas were like our times of the year, you know, like I don't have kids. So he was like... <laughs> Our child you know like the center of the family like seriously like my best friend my familiar like the bond that we had and I grew up with dogs and pets but I've never experienced anything like the closeness that that we had and I miss him so much every day so um there might be little sprinkles of sadness in this vlogmas but hopefully doing vlogmas will help cheer me up as well it's just kind of lonely Shout out to filters for making bitches look way less haggard than they do in real life. Yeah, but I don't want to end this on a sad note. So, you guys, I have an advent. I have an advent calendar. I think we should open day one. That might be the end of the vlog. But I'm really excited. I need to blow my runny nose. <laughs> so... Let me do that and then I'll show you guys the advent that I have. I fell in love with a new tea company last year thanks to one of the crocheters that I watch here on YouTube. The company is called Brutalities. I absolutely love everything of theirs that I've tried so far. They had an advent calendar last year and I found out about it too late. I, th I think they've done it for like a few years now, but I found out about it too late to get it. So this year I was on it, I grabbed it it's here. Let's check it out. Do, do, do. Let me get the rubber bands off. I'll be right back. Bands are off. So there was a card attached. I was about to open it, but it says open me on December 25th. How cute the little dancing skelly. And I forgot to mention what is so cute about them is their little wordplay and their titles. This Lee Cheap trick get it like cheap trick and this yummy one palm sign instead of Rammstein. a lot of problematic things came out about the lead singer earlier this year but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> and of course my ultimate favorite chai day the 13th you guys know i'm a big jason fan like huge huge and it's absolutely delicious love it so good
kind of overpowering the aroma. I do smell uh, the roses though. Something else. What were the fruit notes? I don't remember. Super mellow, especially for a black tea. You know, normally there's that briskness that like coats your mouth that it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of that. If you compare it to wine, you know, like when you drink a heavy red and it kind of like coats the inside of your mouth and some teas do that. Not this one, this one's really light. Doesn't have a very strong flavor. It's not bad. It's just kind of there. Because there's a sweetness that's not the honey. I wanted to grab the the card to read the info on it. Okay, so decompose Wednesday 13 exclusive black tea, rose hips, definitely get it. Hibiscus, maybe a little bit. Apple piece. Oh, it's the apple that I was tasting, that's the fruit. Apple pieces, natural strawberry and rose flavors, rose petals, strawberries, raspberry. Leaves maybe the raspberry a little bit. I was guessing berry. Would I get this one? I'm not so sure. It's not my favorite. It's not gross. It's not bad. It's just very, like, super, super mellow. Maybe for someone that wanted to try black tea that wasn't a super tea drinker, this one might be a good starting point. 719, December 1st, day one of Vlogmas. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat. I'm starting to get a little hangry. Uh, the back pain is definitely kicking in right now. Um, need to get this edited so it can go out early tomorrow. Also wanna post the intro? I was gonna say trailer. <laughs> the intro for Vlogmas. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Hope you'll come back tomorrow. If you guys are participating in Vlogmas or Bookmas, let me know. I'm really enjoying uh, watching everyone's videos. It's getting me into the spirit. Um, hoping to lift my spirits, actually. So yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm busking for you guys. No, I'm just kidding. All right, that's about it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.